Tonight is really important because it's our first chance to see Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders in a head-to-head -head contest. They are the only two on the ballot in these six states that are voting. And both of them for months, uh, more than a year really, have been making an argument about electability, both claiming that they are the best positioned Democrat to be able to defeat Donald Trump. And we all know that that is the only thing that Democrats really care about in this contest is defeating Donald Trump in November. Michigan is a state that Democrats have been talking about for three and a half years, ever since Donald Trump defeated Hillary Clinton in a real upset there in the general election. Uh, Bernie Sanders won Michigan in the 2016 Democratic primary. That was an upset for him. Uh, Joe Biden thinks that this is a state where he can show, hey, I'm the one that can get back some of those white working class voters in Michigan. I'm the one that can ramp up turnout among African American voters in Detroit. Uh, this will be a real, uh, a real opportunity for both of them uh, to make that case to voters should they come out on top. There are 352 delegates at stake tonight. Uh, there is no possibility that uh, you can win all of those delegates because of the way that Democrats uh, c calculate their results and their delegate count. So mathematically, uh, there's no way that you can really block out the other guy through the results tonight. Uh, it's going to take another week or maybe two before we maybe see the math uh, have that kind of impact. <laughs> There is a real question about momentum. You know, if you are Bernie Sanders, uh, Super Tuesday was a disappointment. Yes, you won California, the largest prize, but you didn't win it in that big, overwhelming way that you were hoping to. You need a good night to be able to prove to Democrats that you are still in the mix here, that you still have some of that same energy and enthusiasm from your, your 2016 campaign. If he doesn't win uh, multiple states probably tonight, those questions get a lot more challenging for him, especially as we look ahead to March 17th, the next round of big primaries where you have several states, most notably Florida, that are not lining up particularly well for Bernie Sanders. Is that when you have a global infectious crisis, which is endangering I think there are a couple of demographics that you want to watch for uh, in Michigan in particular. Uh, certainly black voters, uh, mostly in and around Detroit, um, in Flint as well, but then also looking to other states, uh, Mississippi, another deep south state where Joe Biden is expecting to really pull ahead uh, in a big way there. You also want to look for a turnout among young voters. If you do see youth vote really high in places like Ann Arbor, Michigan, where you've got a large university there. That bodes well for Bernie Sanders. He has struggled, and he admits this, he has struggled to get young voters who may be fans of his to really turn out and actually vote in this process, and he's going to be watching that area really closely. His support going all over the country for me, and it means a lot. Folks, look, um, I want to thank everyone. We had we have seen in the elections that we've had so far that turnout in suburbs has been really high. And that is really building on what we saw happen in the 2018 midterms, where some of these suburbs that have leaned a little more conservative historically, you're seeing this real shift toward Democrats. Democrats know that one way they can win back the presidency in November is to keep that turnout high in the suburbs and to keep those voters supporting Democrats. coronavirus, uh, the epicenter in the U.S. really has been in Washington, but it's a state where they vote by mail. It is something they're quite proud of, this system that they have. So you won't have this issue with people worried about going to, you know, high school gyms or uh, elementary school basements in order to, to vote. But we are watching turnout across the board. Uh, we will have better sense of turnout numbers at the end of the night, but we do want to see if there's a dip in turnout, if people are staying away from the polls because they are, are concerned about coronavirus.